the match between the Sydney Swans and St Kilda. Well, both teams having lost in the first round last week. Desperate for the points here today. And uh, the match perhaps lacks a little bit of luster with the lack of the two full forwards who kicked 100 goals last year. Warwick Capper, of course, who was the controversial midsummer uh, signing for the Brisbane Bears. And Tony Lockett, who last, month, last Tuesday night was suspended for three weeks after his first round indiscretion last weekend. So Lockett and Capper both out. And also we're missing Greg Williams, another Brownlow medalist out of the Sydney Swans, who's still serving a suspension. Well, the weather here at the Sydney Cricket Ground and no doubt around Australia, you've heard all about uh, the weather in Sydney. Well, it hasn't been too good. We've had heaps of rain. rain and there was Carrara last week, well, it was uh, an absolute, not so much a, a mud heap up there. It was just slushy wet uh, in the uh, first match in uh, Queensland last week when Collingwood played the Bears. And just about a raffle for the points there. Even though the Sydney Cricket Ground has had a lot of uh, rain uh, the ground not in that sort of a condition here today the ground has taken the rain particularly well now let's have a look at the uh, ground report here for the sydney cricket ground today and uh, it is remarkable considering the amount of rain that sydney has had that the ground has stood up so well 78.6 millimetres of rain have fallen on the cricket ground since last Thursday. That's three inches to you and me, and 12 inches of rain since the Easter weekend last weekend. So Sydney has had an absolute heap of rain. And, uh, well, just about the whole of the eastern states has had a lot of that, and uh, real flood conditions. And I suppose uh, we have been used to Melbourne, and the weather has been so good to us in Melbourne lately. But, uh, well, the ground has been... Uh, absolutely remarkable we've had a couple of showers of rain in the last hour or so it absolutely pelted with rain here a short time ago where uh, well the, the gutters all overflowed and um, unfortunately I think that's that may have had an effect on the crowd because about the time that people would have been thinking about leaving home to come to the football they might have been turned off by the rain which teamed down a couple of times in the last hour and a half or so well, during the day, our commentators with me will be Peter McKenna and Bernie Quinlan. We're looking forward to bringing you the game. And as I mentioned, both teams will be desperate for the points. So it's nice to be back on football, and that's what our song says. Who was there when they wrote the story? Who was there in the colours of glory? Who was there when a new star rose? Who was there? As each chapter closed We were there When the mighty fell We were there When they did it well Who was there When the boys became the men We were there And we'll be there again We'll be there this year We'll be there We'll be there Is it a Targa? Is it a Coupe? Or is it a Cabrio? Absolutely. The new 1.8 Nissan Exa. It's out of the ordinary and out of sight. Nissan Malau. Building the right cars for Australia. Tropical longs really fit your rear. That man has an interesting past. I've been admiring it. Fit where you sit and not too dear. That's either his girlfriend or he has a beautiful mum. Hmm, nice and neat. Summer ones, winter ones, new each year. That's a nifty pair of glasses. Cute. A look you can live in that fits your rear. Do you ever look at their faces? Cases? Who cares about their luggage? Tropical longs by King G. I see he's putting on another two stories. Oh, and I think only three years ago he started off in a building not unlike this one. Apparently his bank had a lot to do with his success. Bank? Which bank? 
Yes, it's hot up the press and Guest Furniture's new priceless sale catalogue will be in your letterbox soon. It offers great savings on quality furniture. Save $586 on this leather lounge suite. Save $350 on this stunning seven-piece dining setting or this three-piece lounge. Save up to $500 on suites by Noblet, Bridgestone and Tessa. A Guest priceless sale at every Guest showroom. We treat you like a guest at Guest's. If you care about your heritage, come to the New Market Sale Yards. We're offering you a unique opportunity to purchase historic goods and chattels for your own piece of land. These original gates and walkways have been restored for sale. Solid Oregon gates return to their former natural character, still carrying original hand-tooled fittings. Shelter from the hot Australian sun under one of these trellised Oregon pavilions, in gardens, in parks, for plants or picnics. They're perfect. And take a look at our furniture, beautifully crafted from enhanced original timber that has stood the test of time. Select your pieces of Australia's precious heritage at the Newmarket Sale Yards. After all, when they're gone, they're gone forever. Tonight on ALF, <coughs> Hairball's got the hiccups, <coughs> and he can't get rid of them. <coughs> He's tried everything, <coughs> even holding his breath, but there's only one sure cure for Melmachian hiccups. <coughs> All I have to do is drink a glass of cat juice. No problem. Alf at 7.30. Hi, Kate. Hi, Juicy. Uh, lucky. <laughs> Followed by Valerie's family tonight on 7. Welcome back to the Sydney Cricket Ground now. Peter McKenna and Bernie Quinlan. Bit disappointing we're missing uh, the lockets and the cappers of this world, but I reckon it might even things up. Might be a great game. I think we're in for a very good game and uh, disappointing that Neil Cordy also is out of the Brisbane, uh, the Sydney side because he's been an excellent player over the last couple of seasons. There's the Sydney side, a lot of interest in David Cordner, you can see there along the Evergreen, Craig Davis there at full forward, David Cordner, bit of height, they certainly need that because against Footscray last week they missed out. Uh, number one ruckman there, Michael Parsons, a, a big boom recruit and talk about big, he's a very tall player, will make a bigger diff big difference to them because they lacked height badly against Footscray out of VFL Park last week. I'm looking forward to Rod Carter playing at fullback on the St Kilda full forward in Rod Owen. Both very fiery players. I think you'll see a couple of dust-ups during the afternoon. But that's not a bad side. Look at that goal-to-goal -goal line. Carter, Coleman, Carroll, Bays, Craig Davis and Cordner to help out in the pocket. And a very good centre line. David Murphy, Dennis Carroll and David Bolton. So the Sydney Swans, I think, are a very underestimated side. Looking at the the Saints, right? Yeah, looking at the St Kilda side, they will miss, of course, Tony Lockett at full forward, uh, century goal kicker last season, and Brownlow medalist. Also, uh, Wow Jones is out of that side, the big ruckman, veteran ruckman at uh, 32. And um, into the side is a young player, a ruckman playing in his um, first game on the interchange is Green, 194 centimetres. He's a good player by all reports. And congratulations also to Kenny Shelton, who'll be playing his 150th game, the former Carlton player in the centre today. As the Saints make their way onto the ground, here are some of the players to watch in today's game. New Sydney full forward Craig Davis may not have played in the big time for several seasons, but that didn't stop him making his mark in last week's comeback appearance. The veteran bagged four goals against Footscray, making the unusual transition from club runner to the vital spearheads position. Former demon David Cordner makes his debut for the Swans today, and Sydney fans are hoping he can take over where Warwick Kappa left off. Little Stevie Wright is entering his 10th year with the Swans, but he seems to get better with age. One of Wright's greatest assets is his speed, but his ability to kick a bag full of goals also makes him one of the team's most valued contributors. St Kilda's Rod Owen faces a rather unenviable task today, stepping into the shoes of Brownlow medalist and top goal kicker Tony Lockett. With Lockett under suspension, it'll be up to Owen to provide the Saints with a focal point in attack. Former West Australian Nicky Winmar has electrified Saints fans many times in his short stint with the club, and 88 should be no exception. He mightn't be tall, but Winmar has the capacity to produce amazing leaps, and that, combined with his fine skills on the ground, makes him one of the men to watch. So there are some of those to watch during today's game. Still a disappointing crowd, just a few minutes away from the start. 